color change and heat. So you'll see here we've got bright red, we've got this kind of brown color, and then we have our purple color, which you're familiar with with gray. So what happens, and the reason why there's all these different colors, is there's a component in here called myoglobin. And basically the state of the iron in this myoglobin is what causes it to be different colors. And that happens in the presence of oxygen. So this package was just freshly packed in the line. Um, it was just in oxygen about maybe 15 minutes ago. And then it was put in a package. So it's bright cherry red um, because oxygen was just around it. This one was packaged probably about three hours ago. So it's already changing into brown. And what's happening is that we've removed oxygen out of this entire package. So the oxygen is removing and changing the iron state in this product and moving it through brown, which will eventually turn into purple. Now this purple product is, has no oxygen um, in it. And what's causing the color to be purple is because the iron state, um, there's no oxygen present. So, there you have it, the transition that occurs. It takes about two to three days to get to the purple state. heat product from the day it was produced all the way through when it expired. So all these will have the dates of when it was produced and when it is expired. So we'll come back here and we'll take a look. So as you can see, this is where we pulled out our purple package. This is 80 ground beef. This is 95. Um, I can't put it back in the piece, but anyways, but this is purple from last week's production and that's why it is not bright red or it's not brown. So this is actually out on stores now. Thank you.